Hey, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm introducing you to the Leap Motion Controller. The Leap Motion Controller is a new way of interacting with your Mac. It lets you use hand gestures in the space above this little device that plugs into the USB port on your Mac to control things that are going on on screen. I'm in the visualizer here, which comes with the Leap Motion software. The written tutorial below this screencast will take you through all the basics of getting things installed and all of that. And just in this screencast, I'm going to show you the Leap Motion controller in action. The visualizer lets you see what the Leap Motion controller is seeing. Right now, my hands aren't in the interaction zone, which spans out about two feet in every direction. Uh, but as soon as I move my hand in, you can see that we've got my hand and all five fingers. So this is what the leap motion is seeing. Uh, it's really futuristic and quite cool. It can detect two hands at once. So I bring the other hand in. Now if I close my fingers, it closes into fists. I can have one hand and one finger pointing there. I can bring out two fingers, bring out the thumb. We've got three, five. You can turn hands and it will detect all of this. So as you can see, it's really quite mental uh, so what I suggest you do is once you've got the leap motion controller set up is to play around with this visualizer and explore the space that comes out from it so you can get a feel for where your hands will be detected by the leap motion controller the leap motion controller supports a wide range of apps everything from games to controlling Google Earth using hand gestures and to concept apps that allow you to sculpt things or play harps in the air using the Leap Motion Controller. The Airspace Store that comes bundled with the software, which you can access by going to airspace.leapmotion.com, allows you to download and install these apps on your computer. If you don't have a Leap Motion Controller, you won't be able to download and install these apps as you need the Leap Motion Controller to interact with a lot of them. There's only 200 apps in the store, so it's quite easy to have a look around and browse through and download any that take your fancy. Some of them are free and some of them cost 2 or $3. Once you download an app from the Airspace Store, it gets saved to your Airspace Home. The Airspace Home app is sort of the hub of everything to do with the Leap Motion on your Mac. You can see here a few of the apps I've installed. Uh, my personal favorite there is Duck and Kill, which is a clone of the old NES game, Duck Hunt, except you control it with your fingers. The first time you open the Airspace Home app, you'll be taken through the orientation procedure, which you can access at any time by going to the app there. The orientation procedure uses the visualizer that I was showing you at the start of this screencast. It also comes pre-installed with a few of the apps you'll see here. And they sort of cover the gamut of what apps are available. There's Boom Ball Adventures, which is a game. There's Cyber Science, which allows you to dissect the tarantula using the leap motion controller in it you reach and grab things like the tarantula's legs which you can pull the skin off to see the ligaments and the blood vessels that are underneath it's kind of cool for the first few minutes but it's quite limited then there's some trippy concept apps like Kyoto here and then there's the apps that I've downloaded myself you can also access the Airspace store at any time just by clicking on the link in the top left or access the community where people can discuss projects, ideas and your favorite apps. You can also get support from Leap Motion by clicking on the get support there and you'll get notifications of things like app updates and stuff to do with the Leap Motion in the notifications tab up there. Alongside the Airspace Home app, the Leap Motion software also comes with a little menu bar app that allows you to access the Leap Motion controller's settings. It's this little green icon in the menu bar there. To access settings, you click on it. You can also pause tracking. When I pause the tracking, the app goes gray, 
which shows that it's not tracking. If I want to resume tracking, it will go green and tell me that it's tracking again. To get to the settings, I can just click on settings there, and then you can explore the leap motion control panel. Most of the default settings are fine. In the next tutorial in this series, I'm going to suggest you change one of the settings here, but for the most part, you shouldn't need to do too much fiddling around with the leap motions settings. The only thing that you might need to play around with is the diagnostic tools if you have any difficulty with the leap motion tracking your hand gestures. It uses infrared light, so if you have a TV that is sending out an infrared signal, that might be interfering with the leap motion's ability, and these diagnostic tools will allow you to see that. You can also access the visualizer I was showing you at the start of this tutorial using the visualizer option there. For more information on the leap motion controller, how to buy it and set one up in the best positioning, check out the written tutorial below this screencast. Thanks for watching.